Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, pads, synth, organ, and bass, all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here up to here. There is a piano sound from this note all the way up to this note. Then there is a distorted synth lead sound from this note up the rest of the keys. And that will get brighter as you increase the song section control. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, verses, down pre-chorus, down chorus, down refrain, interlude, and down bridge. At one third will be the medium pre-chorus and the medium bridge. At two thirds is the medium chorus, medium refrain, and the building bridge. And all the way up is the big chorus and the big bridge. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you're going to have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and you're going to pulse your right hand just on this note throughout the entire intro. This intro just changes back and forth between two chords like this. So here's what the intro sounds like with both hands. For the verses, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in the left hand and you're going to pulse your right hand on this note just like we did in the intro. The chords are the same as the intro as well, so you'll just go back and forth between this minor 6 chord and the 4 chord. The second time you play the verse, you'll play everything the same way. For the pre-chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in the left hand and you're going to pulse your right hand on this note just like we do in previous sections of the song. For this part, you are going to go back and forth between two notes, which will be your 5 chord and your 4 chord. So it'll sound like this. Then at the end of this pre-chorus, you'll hold out that four chord for one more measure, and I like to drop out my right hand during that part. The second time you play the pre-chorus, it will be a medium pre-chorus, so you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in the left hand with the same chords, and your right hand will play that pulsing note right here. The only difference with this pre-chorus is that at the very end, instead of holding on that four, you'll go back to the minor six.
For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in the left hand and you're going to pulse your right hand on this note like we have been for the majority of the song thus far. Here's what the left hand does for the chorus. Then that pattern will repeat, so you'll play through the chord progression a total of two times. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. For this part, you'll play octaves in the left hand and you're going to play a synth lead up high. Here's what the lead sounds like. And that part is going to repeat throughout the entire chorus. So here's what it sounds like with both hands. The next time you play the chorus, it will be a big chorus, so you'll have the song section control all the way up, and you'll again play octaves in the left hand and that synth lead in the right hand. Now this chorus is a little bit different than the previous one, whereas for the first section of the chorus, you're just going to hold out that minor 6 chord in your left hand. Then leading into the second half of the chorus, the chords do change a tiny bit. So that second line of the chorus will look like this. And then you move into the second half where the chords are just the same as normal. So the first half of this chorus will look like this. Then there's another portion of the chorus added on to the very end. And for this portion of the chorus, the chords do change again. These chords will reflect the chords that you play in the bridge. Here's what it sounds like. And then of course your right hand will be playing that synth lead over the top. Just be sure to check out the demo to see this part in context. For the down refrain, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth lead in your right hand. Here's what this synth lead sounds like. So with both hands it'll sound like this. The next time you play the refrain, it will be slightly different. You'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll play octaves in the left hand, and you'll play a similar synth lead in the right hand. Instead of having that last portion of the lead be different, you're just going to continue playing the same pattern. And I like to jump this part up an octave so that you can hear it more because there's more sounds that come in in the left hand. So here's the right hand part. There's one more time in the song where you will play the refrain, and for this part you'll play everything the same way as we just learned.
For the bridge section, you'll start with the song section control all the way down. This part starts with an interlude, where you'll play octaves in the left hand and pulsing notes in the right hand just on this note. Here's the chord progression for this part. So you'll play two times through that chord progression for the interlude, then you'll play the down bridge, which is another two times through that chord progression. Then the lyrics change slightly for two more times through the chord progression. Then we move into what I like to call the medium bridge. For this part, I like to move the song section control to one third and continue playing everything the same way. Then for the last two times through the chord progression, I like to move the song section control to two thirds for the building bridge and continue playing everything the same way. Now keep in mind, if you want to build this part in other ways, you can absolutely do so. These patches are designed so that you can build throughout the song in any way that you'd like or that fits the way your band is playing this song. Later in the song, we do play the bridge again. For this part, you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in the left hand and the synth lead from the chorus in the right hand. Just for a refresher, here's what it sounds like. So with this part in the right hand and the chord progression in the left hand, here's what it sounds like. So you'll play a total of six times through the chord progression for this big bridge. Then you're going to play a down bridge. For this part, you'll bring the song section control all the way back down, play octaves in the left hand and those pulsing notes right here on this note in your right hand. And that's the end of the song. Be sure to check out the demo video to see all of these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.